Virginia Tech closing out their homestand. South Carolina State trying to find their first win on the road this season. Blackshear and Applewhite in the middle. And the tip off goes the way. Look at that Hokie starting five of Med Hill, a guy to watch out for. Just has to try to find consistency, Mac. Ten on the shot clock. Thought about it. Kennard has to shoot and converts. And them to one shot. That's going to be a big deal all night long, Bailey. Rainer Powell pulls up and drains the long two. 4% free throw shooter, and he leads the team in assists too. Kind of a combo kind of guy, but a really good player. Alexander Walker converts on the first three of the day for the Hokies. He's a guy that brings a defensive presence for the Hokies. It's a really good on-ball defender. Good block by Blackshear. Applewhite pulls the trigger as the shot clock was winding down, and Blackshear came up with another board. No help came. You've got to convert that. Blackshear now 0 of 4 from the field. Three for Eddie Yen. Yes. Eddie Yen out of Atlanta, Georgia. Into six here on ACC Network Extra. Eddie Yen able to hit the big three in the corner. Feed to Neal. Back iron. Rebound Beatty. Hokies double team the post. They kick it out for the wide open shot. But that's the percentage play. South Carolina State not as good from the perimeter. And in transition, Med Hill. On the shot clock. Back out to Banks, has to shoot, and he converts somehow over the face of Ty Outlaw. Three fouls committed, despite the fact that they've been really aggressive. There you see him forcing another turnover and getting out in transition. Alexander Walker converting in transition. Powell snatched the ball away. Applewhite looking for his first score. Ty Outlaw with a block. But now a foul, that'll send the star for South Carolina State to the line. Focus a little sideline break out of the free throw. Another lob to Horn. Muscles up a shot with a foul. Fields. Pivots and finds the basket. Nice job, Ozante Fields. That's a good in rhythm shot. Good bounce to Robinson and one. Looked, but it's also allowed him to get to the free throw line, and I'd like to see a number on. Interville, Virginia native. Neal on a crossover. Flares and swishes. Really nice. Alexander Walker converts. Alexander Walker working in that play. A lot of times you'll see a Med Hill chuck up the three in the exact same play as well. Slater on the offensive board, punches it off the glass. See it there again, Rainer Powell with the steal. And he rolls it straight to a man hill. Alexander Walker to the rim with a left hand. Here comes Slater. And a block is called. Hokies have been tough defensively. Robinson, a spin move. And the finish with a foul. Thanks. Picked away by Robinson. Race to the glass. And converts on the fast break. Did on a three yet in this game. On the floor with Robinson who has 14 points. See if he can do it here. Like clockwork, Mac mentioned it and it happens. Powell. Running down the shot clock again. Applewhite, fade away, rattles it home. Just too good to shut out. Now has to rush, Blackshear. Hill at the buzzer, count it. Inside out. He points at 11 rebounds on Thursday night in a win against Voorhees, but just can't quite finish it tonight. Blackshear pulls the trigger, you betcha. When those three balls go in, you look a lot different on the offensive end. Alexander Walker, another three ball going in, Mac. 23 point lead for the Hokies. Now on the bench, Cabongo on the floor for the Hokies for the first time as Applewhite is too short on the free throw line shot. Followed it though and converted. A kick out to Cabongo. Outlaws wide open. Bang. Hill with a shot clock running down, he missed. 
Johnson running the floor. Blackshear lays it up and in. Blackshear. Outlaw tries again from three. He's starting to heat up, Mac. As for South Carolina State trying to move through their non-conference schedule as well, they're going to face off against North Carolina A&T on January 5th as Neal goes to the rim and floats it home. They have to play two more MEAC teams, Maryland Eastern Shore as well as North Carolina A&T. Robinson, though, meandering his way to the basket. Alexander Walker and man, Justin Robinson, the only Hokies in double figures at the moment. What a shot by Applewhite, though. Of harassing. Mr. Applewood. Robinson lost the ball. Up to Kennard. Flushes it home. Contested. Last year into a double team. In the midst of three Bulldogs, somehow found a way to get that one off the glass. Now the arc. Here comes Horn with the offensive board. Blackshear down on the floor. Alexander Walker to the glass. What's been impressive tonight, Mac? Alexander Walker, as another shot is missed. He has played so well defensively, and so has P.J. Horn with another block. Conference team or a team like Washington, that's something that they really can't afford to let happen. No, it's going to be harder to hang into the game. Can't find the stick back, and that's going to bug him. Neal carries. Reverse layup counted for two for South Carolina State. And we'll play on. After all that, Hokies still have the ball. Kick out. Ahmed Hill nails the three. Dipped out. Rebound by Wilkins. Alexander Walker. Now the freshman pulls up. Yes. Blackshear. Step back three. Count it. Double-double now for Kerry Blackshear with 12 points and 13 rebounds. It bounce. And Fields with the N1. Swarmed in a double team by Hill and Blackshear. It's been the story of his night. Stolen by Alexander Walker. And the exclamation. Horn lost the ball. Applewhite. Finishes. Come on, go. Underhands, and P.J. Horn sticks it in. Here's Beatty. It bounced to Horn. Hooks and scores. It's a really nice post move. Little counter move. P.J. Horn likely to finish with nine points. Steal for Cabongo. And he scores in transition. His first two-pointer of his career. And that will do it from Blacksburg. Hokies out to an 8-1 start on the season. 81-44.